We're here at the Backscatter booth. Um, with Robin. Hey, how's it going? Good. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Backscatter? Well, uh, so Backscatter is pretty much the world's leading retailer of underwater photo and video equipment. Um, we're here kind of right next to the main uh, Image Resource Center here at DEMA 2019. It's our uh, pretty cool booth. we got some exciting stuff going on. Pretty much any housing you could ever want for anything GoPro, compact, mirrorless, cinema. A whole bunch of really cool color correction filters for GoPro. we got our new mini flash strobe over here. we got Olympus over here with a bunch of their fresh cameras. The TG6, super popular one. Nice. So a little bit of everything in our booth. So what's the, the newest product? What do you, what's your new product that you're putting out and showing this year at DEMA? Oh, the really cool thing is the mini flash and the optical so snoot. So we just debuted that yesterday. We can go over and take a little closer look. For sure. But it's kind of a, a compact body strobe that we made specifically for shooting macro. Nice. So a little bit more of a narrowed taper beam and it's got a really easy to use snoot that snaps onto the front and it gets you that little pinhole lighting effect for awesome macro. It's kind of the easiest to use optical snoot and strobe strobe that's ever been made. It's really the brightest and the easiest to use on the market right now. So we just revealed that yesterday. Super, super stoked about that one. So that's super new. I like that. Yeah, it's really fresh. So how about I me? Mean, we're shooting on a GoPro here. How about GoPro stuff? Well, that's kind of right behind us here. We've got the Flip 7 system. Still the easiest to use color correction system for GoPro underwater. By far produces the best results and is just the, you know, the easiest to operate in the water regardless of what kind of water you're diving in. Um, obviously, we've got the new Hero 8 camera that's just come out so flip eight is just around the corner didn't quite have the design for that finalized in time for the show so that'll be more of a q1 2020 product but for now we've still got flip seven which is working great from hero three four five six and seven cameras and then eight will be backwards compatible as well um, so yeah I'm kind of excited for that but for now it's kind of a you know just the the same old good product that we've been seeing for a while now and getting more and more into the hands of gopro shooters so you guys are in monterey california i've been in your shop before um, with my credit card unfortunately <laughs> and but you guys are worldwide you're online you ship anywhere uh, you ship to me in Germany yeah no yeah, problem yeah um, so we want to just emphasize that you guys are not just a retail shop in Monterey this is anyone anywhere in the world can order from Backscatter online and have shipped to them. That's right, yeah. In fact, we I'm, an overwhelming majority of our business is done either online or over the phone, and people kind of calling our, you know, our nerve center of operations and then getting that stuff out there to some pretty remote parts of the world sometimes, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we also, also have a little outpost on the East Coast up in New Hampshire, so if you're <laughs> eastern seaboard of the U.S., we got a spot there too. So it's cool. If you are, you know, anyone happens to be in the Monterey area, we've got pretty much the world's largest showroom for underwater photo equipment. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> great big prints everywhere. It's kind of half camera store, half gallery, so yep. definitely cool. And right across the street from San Carlos Beach and the Breakwater Wall, which is like iconic Monterey dive site. So anytime we need to test stuff up, we just go gear up in the back of the shop, walk across the street, and jump in. So it's yeah. pretty awesome. Love that site. Good sea lines, too. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah, you want to go take a look at this mini flash? Let's go take a look at the flash, yeah. and then we'll look at the GoPro stuff and show me what's new. Awesome, man. All right. All right, so this is the mini flash and optical snoot. This is our newest piece of gear. This is kind of the whole assembly here set up on a tripod. Uh, the mini flash itself is just this unit here. So we call it the MF1 for short. That's kind of the, you know, the, the code name for it right now. The idea being very compact body, very lightweight strobe that's specifically designed for making macro shooting as easy as possible. So the small body makes it really easy to just kind of bring in close to the port here where we need it for our macro subjects. You don't have to worry about having, you know, a huge strobe that's going to be kind of clunky and awkward to get down in close and tight to the port. Most of the time we only need our light source a couple inches away from our subject and we don't need a super wide, super bright, super diffused beam for shooting macro. So, hey, let's keep it small, keep it tight, keep the power just where we need it. When we want to take it even a step further from that, not just using a good old, you know, traditional narrow beam strobe, that's when we use the optical snoot or the OS-1. It's super easy to use. You just 
click it onto the front of the strobe and it's on and you're good to go. And then the optical snoot is gonna produce a much tighter beam. Okay, so even without the aperture card inserted, we drastically narrow the, uh, the, you know, the spread of the light beam. And then by just inserting the aperture card that's got a couple different sizes and shapes of hole in it, we can take that beam down to about a six millimeter diameter. You can get really tight with this thing for those truly super macro subjects. But the cool thing about the aperture card, and folks that have shot with a snoop before might have experienced this, you know, if you've got a circular light beam coming out of the end of your snoot, it looks great and produces that nice, sharp, kind of crisp spotlight circle when pointed straight down. But something that we experience a lot is that when shooting at an angle, your circle gets kind of blown out into a little bit more of an oval shape, kind of lose that, you know, that, that classic clean circle. So we've been made two different shapes on our aperture cards. We've got both a circular and an oval pattern on there. So use the circle when you're shooting straight down and you want to kind of preserve that effect. But when working in an angle, use the oval card because that allows us to offset that effect or exaggerate it. So we can shoot at an angle with the oval and still be able to retain that much more circular shape or we can just take the end of the snoot and twist it and adjust that to create more of an exaggerated oval for subjects that are longer than they are wide. You get a little bit more of a natural shape. You use it a lot for nudibranchs, right? That's pretty much the only snoot out there that allows you to twist and rotate the front to control the shape and the size of the light beam. That's a unique property of this thing that we're really proud of. Um, it's just you know one more little detail that goes into it that makes it easiest snoot ever to shoot. Um, one really cool thing about this and what. Well, what really makes it truly easy are these super bright LEDs we've put in the front of the strobe. So that's what you're seeing projected through the tube here is actually just the target and the focus light. So we've got these two LEDs on the front that when powered on produce a really, really bright beam. It's bright enough to totally replace the need for a separate focus light on your macro rig. You can just turn this on, be able to find your subject, get autofocus easily and call it a day. And we got three different power levels of that. So even if you're shooting up close macro video clips, it's a lot of power, works really, really well. But when you put it on with the snoot, basically what you see is what you get, right? Wherever this target light is hitting, and again, super bright, makes it super easy to see, that's what your flash beam is gonna do. So you're not dealing with some sort of a, you know, offset target light or some, you know, laser pointer guide or some, you know, weird way to kind of try and predict or guesstimate where your flash is gonna hit. Now we can just see exactly what it's gonna do. That's exactly where that flash beam is gonna come out. If you've got a subject that maybe doesn't like you blasting it with light nonstop, or you're in really, really bright conditions, and even this bright light is still kind of hard to see, we just hold down the button for two seconds, and we get a modeling flash that sometimes doesn't show up so well on video because it's such a fast firing rate. But you just hold that down, and it's going to do a quick strobe pulse. And then that strobe pulse is gonna allow you to see, again, exactly where that flash is hitting and what kind of effect it's gonna give you on your subject. So overall, pretty awesome system. Definitely the easiest way to ever shoot classic black background macro vi uh, photos. All right, so here we're looking at the Flip 7 system for GoPro Hero 7 and 5, 6, 3, 4. Pretty much everything that's you know somewhat current, right? Flip 7 is very simple system that mounts onto the front of your GoPro brand housing or your ISOTA housing if you've got one of those as well. Here we're seeing kind of the, the 55 millimeter version of it. We've got a couple others down here that are a little bit more like, you know, what you're going to find directly in the box. So the basic idea is that it's a simple modular frame that's made from machined uh, aluminum, mounts directly onto the GoPro housing with just a single pinch bolt, and gives you the ability to mount any two filters or filter and lens combination that you want from the flip line of products. So in the box, we have three different colored filters. You have one for shallow, one for dive, and one for deep depths. So it's kind of your five to 20 feet, 20 to 50, 50 and below, adding in a little bit more corrective color for what we're gonna lose as we go deeper and deeper into the blue. We also make a 55 millimeter threaded holder for working with our plus 10 close-up lens or our Macromate mini lens, which also stacks with our 55 millimeter threaded filters. So with one frame and a couple different lenses and filters, you can shoot just about anything underwater and shoot it well and get really, really nice color with your GoPro. 
It's a classic design that's been out for multiple generations now. Next generation with Flip 8 is just a couple weeks away. We'll be seeing that in 2020. So pretty awesome. Still, you know, continues to be the easiest to use, simplest operation, and the best results from a GoPro underwater. So that's that's Flip 7. All right, this is Andrew and Robin. We've been here at the Backscatter booth. It looks pretty awesome. Um, makes my credit card hurt, but it's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> yeah, so. gotta say, we're, we're having a pretty good morning here. I'm kind of enjoying uh, talking about all this gear with you. Kind of here in the middle of everything. Feels good, man. Fantastic booth. Shaping up to be a good demo. Excellent. Appreciate Th it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Andrew. All right.